What's up, guys? Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am absolutely obsessed with this 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 meal, okay? My body is craving this, this meal. Rice, all right? Scrambled eggs with spinach on top. <laughs> Sprouts, avocado, okay? And what I just thought about was I could add chickpeas if I would like. I could add black beans if I would like. And so today, though, I wanted to add peppers, mushrooms, and onions. And I am into the grocery store. So the one pepper I do have, he had a couple little spots on him. But I'm going to take these seeds because I just seen this from TikTok last night. I'm going to take these seeds and start doing my pepper in the crib. Y'all don't even understand how mad I am. We had snow this morning, okay? And not like mad for real because I love a gloomy day that, you know, I could live in the, in, uh, the Pacific North northwest for sure um but like i was ready to go get pull all that wood out there and start building my uh garden beds i was studying on the gar on the on the garden talk all night long anyway speaking to a client this morning okay and the topic of course and always um is narcissism and i swear i keep trying to run from the shit and not talk about it, not teach about it. But when I work with my clients, I absolutely talk about it. But what is funny to me is that the word is so commercial and it's so popular, right? And um, because of TikTok, thank God TikTok um, exists because there are people on TikTok who have been diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder and they are teaching people what that looks like. And then on the other side of it, there are people who are recovering from narcissistic personality um, narcissistic abuse and helping people through that right so that's just a very wonderful positive thing on both ends of the spectrum okay so anyways what people need to understand when it comes to this narcissism all right that that there is first of all everybody isn't a narcissist if you come across somebody that is manipulative that is controlling um that is toxic that does not necessarily mean that they are a narcissist and with narcissists or narcissism there is good narcissism or positive narcissism if you will and then there is the the traditional narcissism that everybody is um, used to hearing about okay so with good narcissism there is a healthy balance of self-esteem self-love self-interest and with the other traditional form of narcissism um, it is exploitive in nature as I stated before but it requires external people for the person to feel that way about themselves whereas the healthy or positive narcissism is self and it comes from self it does not require taking advantage manipulating um, or it using people being exploitive in nature towards others to feel good about themselves with good or positive healthy uh narcissism you have a healthy balance of self-love um, and healthy understanding of self-image and awareness and uh, healthy boundaries and with the traditional form of narcissism there is no such thing as boundaries and it's an excessive amount of um, self-interest self-confidence it's inflated it's not realistic with the traditional form of narcissism or narcissistic personality disorder, you're going to have a lack of empathy. You're going to have self-loathing. You're going to have excessive levels of self-preoccupation. Now, here's what's really important. You can have narcissistic tendencies. You can be manipulative. You can be controlling. You can be toxic and not a narcissist. Remember, narcissism is a spectrum, okay? And every narcissist is not the same okay so if you're dealing with somebody that could potentially be toxic harmful or all the things please don't be so quick to just slap narcissism um, on them as a diagnosis or a label and i also want you to remember that narcissists and i hate to even say it this way narcissists are people too and the way that you become a narcissist is from severe abuse and from severe neglect and from severe trauma. 
I'm not making excuses for beha the behavior at all. I'm just telling you that for someone to be a narcissist, those are the things that they've had to develop to feel safe within their body. That is the level of harm that they have received in their life, okay? And most in childhood. That's all I got for today. Y'all go have a good day.